my little peaceful corner of the internet. This is a place to relax and enjoy yourself. I've got a new punch needle kit and it's got beautiful colors, texture and gorgeous yarns. It's suitable for beginners and I will show you how to make it from start to finish. So have fun. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, I'll follow home. Golden, golden, golden. golden. Spring, rainbow trout and hummingbird wing. Golden, I follow the golden, golden, golden things. Gold hair, gold ring. We'll be using the small laver punch needle uh, for this project. The small laver punch needle comes with a one millimeter, two millimeter and a three millimeter needle. We'll be using the biggest two, two millimeter needle for the twisted wool yarn that is included in the kit and the three millimeter needle for the silk blend, which is a little bit thicker and works best with the largest needle. Open up the wheel on this side and push in the needle tip. Then close the wheel again, fairly tight, super simple. Then we'll take the threader, which is just a metal wire folded in half. We push it in at the tip and make sure it comes out the other end. Right there, we'll make a little loop let me pull out some yarn and we'll put the tail through the loop. And then pull at the metal wire from the tip to make sure the yarn goes through the entire channel and comes out the other end. At the tip here, there is a little hole. And we're going to push in the threader from this side and make the loop again like that and then pull it through and now your needle is ready to go just pull on it at the back to make sure the tail is not that long like that so let's get started uh, we're going to fill up each little area that we've made here and we're going to do it with all the different colors I selected and we're going to do it all from this side so that's very easy we're going to put this needle in different heights every time so we can go really long 
or we can go quite small. So make sure not to take it too far. So this is going to be too small. The loop on the other side will be too small and it won't stay in. But if you make it something like this, so I would say an inch or two and a half centimeters is really the minimum. So from this side up until the tip. I'm going to just pick an area and start there. Let's start with a small area. The setting is quite small and just push in the needle. And now we're gonna go round and round alongside the lines of this area and as you can see my stitches are really quite small this time that's because I want it to be filled up quite dense especially the first row the stitches on the outside are really small then I make them a little bit bigger but because the loops are quite small we also need small stitches so now i'm just filling up this area i'm not too worried that this looks neat because the end piece is going to be on this side so here you can see tiny cute little loops and this area is filled so what i'm now going to do is i'm pulling out the needle and i'm holding the loop here then pull it out like that. I still hold the loop on the other side and I can cut it off like this. So this is going to be the back of the piece and this is where these tiny tails are going to be. So because the threading of the needle is a little bit of a hassle, we're going to continue with this color for now. I'm just going to set it a little bit higher and I'm going to do this area right now. Let's push it in somewhere. And because I set the needle longer, I'm also making longer loops, as you can see right here. And because of that, my stitches are not as small as the previous area. So I'm just filling up around all the edges that I encounter, like this. So, I've made a few videos about how to punch exactly and I'll leave them linked in the description if you need some more guidance on how to punch especially my video on this needle and my common mistakes video are great to watch if you want to be sure that you're doing everything right So I just thread the needle with a different color and I'm going to do an area next to the blue one. These loops are quite long, so to make it a bit of a contrast I am going to make this smaller and be sure to do the small stitches again. Let's look at the other side. Now you can see the difference in height and it looks really cute. And we're going to fill this whole area up with all the different colors in different heights to give it a really interesting look. Sometimes loops can get 
tangled a little bit. Just make sure they are all going in the right direction to make it as clean as possible. You could also do this when you finish the whole piece. Mm. here if you want to see another gorgeous project and click here if you want to learn more about punch needle and avoiding common mistakes bye guys